Hello and a very warm welcome. The FIA have dropped the investigation into Toto and Susie Wolf after finding no conflict of interest possible. So, a very pointless, even to start it, seems a bit pointless because obviously the investigation has now been dropped. 48 hours after announcing an investigation, the FIA concludes appropriate protective measures are in place to mitigate any potential conflicts in F1. All nine of Mercedes rivals deny claims that they complained about Wolf's involvement while also back in Susie's academy work. So, Susie, uh, she was uh, Williams' test driver back in 2014. She now has, she works in the F1 academy to prov- promote the new generation. Yeah, obviously heavily backed by Toto was accused of um, giving Toto information, which is probably true given their husband and wife. Obviously, they're going to talk about F1 and motorsport. So, yeah, I don't really... It seems a big song and dance, and now they've dropped the investigation anyway. So, the FIA has dropped the investigation into the conduct of Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and his wife Susie, the head of the F1 Academy. After finding Formula 1's compliance rules to be sufficiently robust to prevent any breaches of confidentiality. Bloody hell, there's some uh, big words in here. Just write it normally for an English man to say it. The move comes 48 hours after FIA, F1's governing body, announced its compliance department was looking into the allegations. In a statement on Thursday evening, the FIA said, Following a review of Formula One's management's F1 code of conduct and F1 conflict of interest policy and confirmation that the appropriate protective measures are in place to mitigate any potential conflicts. Now, I'm not really into all this, you know. I I like Formula One. I'm not really into all this politics and investigations and all this. This is a bit too technical for my liking, so yeah. Obviously, it caused a big song and dance. Susie was not happy. She posted two big statements. Christian Horner was on Sky Sports News, categorically denied any involvement. Red Bull and Alpha Tauri have nothing to do with the complaints. Um, accusing Sof- Susie uh, confidential information towards Toto. So, yeah. Interesting. This has been trending. I've seen it trending. A uh, Dutchy subscriber was posting it in the F1 WhatsApp group that we have. Yeah. Mercedes and Formula One, who Susie Wolf works for in a capacity as the managing director of the all female F1 Academy series. She reacted angrily on Tuesday night, um, saying baseless allegations. Deeply insulted, but not surprised by the allegations. Um, Yeah, and she's just actually posted on her social media about an hour ago. Well, it could be longer than that. So, this is after they've basically announced that they've dropped the investigation. Susie has replied, When I saw the statement issued by FIA yesterday evening, my first reaction was, is that it? For two days insinuations have been made about my integrity to public and through background briefings but nobody from the FIA has spoken to me directly now I'm not surprised that the FIA sound like they're incompetent uh, Mohammed uh, so Ben I uh, yeah he'll be under pressure he will be under pressure after this because it makes him look bad Domenicali is already looking bad I might have been collateral damage in an unsuccessful attack on somebody else or the target of a failed attempt to discredit me personally. We have come a long way in the sport. I was extremely thankful for unified support of Formula 1 teams. Obviously, Formula 1 teams came out and supported Susie. I have worked with so many passionate women and men at F1 and FIA 
who have the very best interests at the sport. And then she makes a good point at the end. I agree with this. What happened this week is simply not good enough. As a sport, we must demand and we deserve better. Uh, I think that is the best way to finish this. So we've had an investigation. The investigation's over after 48 hours. What was the point in starting it in the first place? But that last statement, F1 is not in a good place. No matter how many times you say it's in a good place, it is not in a good place. Sprint races are poor. The calendar's poor. There's too many races, too many street circuits. And yeah, I would say F1 is not in a good place. Domenicali and the FIA president will be under pressure. Um, yeah. Comment down below your thoughts on this saga. A very strange one, I have to say. I want to be talking about drivers racing. None of this. Too technical.